Hello viewers, in this video I am going to explain about the construction of a frequency distribution table from a data. So as you can see on the screen, we have variable view of SPSS in which I have created a variable with the name marks. It's of numeric type and this is a label which is marks of 19 BSM students in the subject of calculus 1. You can go to the data view and here I have written marks of 15 students in a certain subject. So as you can see the first student has obtained 213 marks. Similarly second student has obtained 174 marks and you can read other values the 15th student has obtained 193 marks. So I'm interested in construction of a frequency distribution table from the marks of these 15 students. So how we can draw a frequency distribution table in SPSS. So go to the tape transform and then click on visual binning. You can see the variable marks of 19BSM, move it to the right hand side panel, variables to bin and then click on continue. Now you can see here the binned variable has been has has to be created. So just a, a randomly selected number for example grouped and you can see the minimum value in our data set is 174 whereas the maximum value is 220. Now you have to click on excluded and then make cut points. The smallest value in our data set is 174. I start with 174 and I have also selected width of each interval that can be selected by subtracting the minimum value of your data set from the maximum value. For example, this is considered to be a range. So range divided by how many intervals you need. So I have just thought randomly that I'm going to select the width 8 and now if you click on the second box the number of cut points are automatically decided by SPSS. So now click on apply and now you can see that some values have been generated. So click on make labels. You can see here the highest point in our data set is 220 whereas it stops these labels actually stop at the point 213 and then we have the next point 214 and the higher points. So you can change these things manually. For example, I'm going to write down here the number 222. So click enter whatever message you get just click on OK and you can now see that you have a number 222 and then here the MAC label is missing. Just click here and you will get the label. Click OK. So this is how you can include the maximum point in your frequency distribution table. Now you just click on OK button and again OK button. You can see another column has been created in SPSS in the data view window. So this can be seen by clicking on the button of val value labels. So you can see now the interval for each number. Now we need to see what is the group frequency distribution table for our data. So in order to, in order to get that table, go to the button analyze and then descriptive statistics frequencies. So move this uh, variable, which is our grouped variable, to the right hand side panel under the variables. And then you have to be make you have to make sure that display frequency tables this option is selected click on ok and now here we go this is our required frequency distribution table in which you can see that there are two students whose marks are in the interval 174 to 181 and you can see that the width of each interval is 8 similarly two students for the second uh, interval and the likewise you have total 15 students and none of the value is missing in our data set. So we have some other columns as well like the column of percent, valid percent and cumulative percentages. So this is a very simple method to get a frequency distribution table 
in SPSS. Thank you for watching.